here is the next part when we are talking about the resource tagging now by the tagging we know that tagging is nothing but a label attached to your resource which says few attributes of the resource so what are the attributes can be it can be your project name organization you need business you need cost center app id app name description which tier it is in created by created on environment and lot of thing these are the tags which i recommend as a standard list of tags so whenever you are creating any resource i recommend that you use this tagging list okay but it definitely depends on you for your organization what is the tagging strategy they are using okay now once you have defined your tags this is the time you create a policy where you will define the tags so on the right side i will say that i am creating one as your policy and want to validate that any resource which is being created must have these tags so at this point i have just added three tags just checking three tags it is project cost center or environment also checking the value we are passing for the project it must be within this e2 esa demo 1 e2 esa demo 2 for the cost center you can add your particular values over here just to validate okay this is the tag exist as well as this is the associated value now let's go to check some actual policies and how we can create that here in our e2 esa github repository we have defined or kept few policies for the reference purpose as you see there are three policies at this moment created we are talking about that tags okay so if it is i'm opening this as your custom tags allow or deny policy json so it means that it will check first whether the tag exist or not it will not check the value okay so this policy will check that whether the resources which is being created having th all these three tags or not if it doesn't have this all these three tags it will simply deny so let me show you how we can create a policy for that so it is a custom policy we are creating last time for the location we took the existing build in policy and added the parameter for the allowed location now this is the policy i am creating okay so this is the policy definition i simply copy from here okay and i go back to the policy click on definition left side click on policy definition the first option it is asking for the definition location so click click it over here it is basically to set the scope over here i have added the subscription so whatever the resources are under this subscription will be affected okay i'm just adding a name suppose e2e tag demo not adding any a uh, description or just by demo here it will give you one skeleton of the policy and as you have like okay, by default it is selecting create new okay so here i am just removing everything and pasting my custom policy over here simply i uh, just i have taken copied from here and i have pasted it here okay and clicking on save showing that creating policy definition so we have our etas tag demo policy already created you see this definition over here okay now if we go to that assignment part at this moment we don't have any assignments means this policy is actually not tagged with any entity so we click this assign button we have the scope already selected okay we assignment name we just keep it Zero one, and click on review plus create assignment succeeded. So after doing Control Shift R, a force refresh, I get that this is the policy we created. It is a custom policy. Definition type is policy, and let's go to our overview because we have created the assignment. So it will show under our overview that uh, 
this etuesa tag demo 01 you see that not started because this policy actually has not been executed over the entity or the scope we have created okay so let's do this thing let's create go back to the vm creation okay so i'm just clicking on the virtual machine what i'm doing that just creating one virtual machine in canada east so the location policy will be passed because we are not testing the location policy at this moment we are only testing the tag requirement okay so i'm just selecting the resource group canada central is the um, uh, region we have selected demo test tag okay and i am not uh, changing anything review and create and it has started review so it is checking with the policies we have defined so far so again it failed because it says that required information is missing or not valid now one more thing to understand that what is the required information is missing or not valid so that that's the gap i see over here it is not showing here it should show that what is that required information missing so if you go back and come over here you don't see anything that is red or showing that what should be done we already know that the tag policy is actually failing but it should also say that why which policy and where it is failing so i just gave a next try and it showed this time okay maybe for the slowness it didn't show before just when i just click uh, review plus create once more it started showing that so it is little bit a glitch in azure portal cannot help on that okay and it is showing that validation failed click here to view the details okay i click over here and it's showing that there are two policy failed one policy had as i showed before that i had the tagged required policy which was already created and this is the next policy regarding the tag we created which is a2esa tag demo 01 okay i'm just going back to this virtual machine this arrow over here so if we come to this place and add the tags suppose project this value is demo cost center demo cost center and what was next env suppose it is dev okay and let's say review plus create now it is passing the policy so i have all three tags already defined and it is saying that validation passed and now if i click it will create the resource but at this point i am not creating the resource i just had to check how the policy is taking effect and validation is working okay so let me take you to the different other policies which are about two more policies we have it here that if you have the requirement that okay you found that the tag doesn't in, exist but you enforce to create the tag so here you find that this policy rule checks the tag exists or not these three tags if it finds that no this tag doesn't exist then what it does it takes the effect append this time it is not denying it takes the effect append and what it is doing append means it will actually create the tag for you so it will create the tag project with the value it will as a demo it will create the next tag cost center with this value and it will also create the third tag which is environment with the dev value okay this is how if you find that your tag is missing you can go and append or create the tag now the third one which is listed over here suppose you want to validate the tag value as well you want to check whether this tag exist or the tag which is containing the value must be the defined one of the defined values so if it is the project your value must be e2 as a demo one or is to as a demo two if it is the cost center out of this two cost center values it should be there and if it is the env environment tag 
it should be dev stage or throt like this so as you have seen that how to create the policy definition for custom policy you just copy it from here just copy uh, the code from this git repository go to your policy i'm just canceling it over here so i do not need to create this virtual machine over here again go to this policy go to definition and create the policy definition and once you set the scope over here i'm i know that i am just repeating this step once more because it is very normal that you will be creating your policies okay so here in the policy field you just paste your policy over here and click on save it will create the policy and again you do the assignments now let me go back to the policy i'm clicking on overview so you see that these are the list of policy showing and it's showing that whether it is compliant or not so out of four you see that three are compliant but one is not this is a default policy has lot of thing which are non compliant if you want to delete any assignment suppose you have your policy created you created the assignments now you what you want that you want your assignments to be created a uh, deleted but before deleting this assignments let me take you and show you one thing how you can create the exemption so you clicked over an assignment if you want to delete that assignment you can delete from here as it simply show over here but suppose you want to create the exemption exemption means it will not consider that particular identity or set of sorry that particular entity or a set of resources under that entity so it is creating an exemption and the exemption is exemption scope you can see that you are saying that the resource group is over there you select the resource group over there so it is saying and the resource so there is no resource currently so at this moment you have the resource group so it means that whatever the resources comes under this a uh, resource group rg demo 01 the policy will not execute or consider those resources so this is called exemption that's why at this moment i am not create clicking on the review and the create but once you create this exemption it means that your policy will actually not execute or actually not consider this particular scope or your resource group demo 01 i am going back to policy overview once again and showing you the remediation so as you see that we have the list of policies created over here if you uh, click on this three dots you get that view definition assign duplicate definition uh, but delete definition um uh, export definitions over there uh, like this i am going to this the one we have created tag demo now on the assignments you can see that you if you want to detach that assignment from the policy so you can delete that assignment duplicate or edit that assignment okay and you can also view the compliance as well if you see the view compliance that how when the policy executed how is the compliance so it says that one compliant zero exam zero uh, non compliant over there and you see this it is showing that create remediation task disabled this actually executed for the particular resources so so far i have showed you how can you create the location policy as well as the resource tagging policy the third one enforcing strong password i give you this assignment so if you created one new user with just by username and password and you have not enabled your multi factor authentication on the policy overview page it should show the policy the one which you will be creating it should show that non compliant and once you enable the multi factor authentication it should show that the policy is compliant thank you for your time i hope you understood that how can you create or define the policy manage the policy create the assignment create the remediation create the exemption as well for a particular policy if you have any query please feel free 
to comment on this video. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you. See you in our next session.